Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Anup and this channel is all about learning together. And today we are going to learn about adaptations of desert plants and how they survive in deserts. First, what comes in your mind when you think about plants in deserts? Yeah, you guessed it right. It's a cactus. The cactus is a very common plant and there's two more common plants that's in a desert. Palm and Acacia. Uh, let, do you know that a cactus has this big thing and it's this big thing is known as the stem of a cactus. And guys, do you know that that stem of a cactus can like when water is available and as I told you in my last video that um, deserts have rainfall but very less, like very less. And when that it is very less rainfall, the cactus can absorb water from the rain inside its big stem, big thick green stem. And guys, when water is not available, it can use that water that is stored in its big thick green stem. And guys, do you know that this is only one fact about a cactus? The second fact about the cactus is that it has a waxy coating on a cactus. Unlike other plants, if you have seen that they don't have a waxy coating. Only a cactus has a waxy coating. And guys, um, the third fact about a cactus is that the cactus has a very pointy leaves and guys do you know why it has pointy leaves because of the in nature give them pointy leaves because uh, in normal plants the leaves are spread out like this so by uh, since it's spread it out the sun it's very hot so it evaporates the water from the stomata in normal leaves but the stomata in a cactus it's pointy and it's closed because in like this it's open in normal leaves here it's closed so it does not like evaporate by the sun and guys um, since we are done with the top part of a cactus let's come to the roots sorry um, do you know that a cactus it can, it makes food in its stem, unlike other normal plants. It, it, it makes food in its tomato in its stem, but in normal plants, it makes um, food in its leaves that are spread it out by the process called photosynthesis in its tomato. But in capsule, it's in the stem by the process called photosynthesis and stomata. And it's green because it has chlorophyll. Guys, since we're done with the cactus on the upper part, let's come to the roots. The roots of a cactus is deep and very wide. So it can suck in water from every, everywhere and anywhere, for, uh, even in, from a distance. And guys, since we are done with the cactus, let's come to palm. Palm and acacia have mostly have similar sim similar um, adaptations. And guys, do you know that palm and acacia have similar adaptations? And guys, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and like and share with some of your friends. And guys. Keep learning, keep watching for more interesting facts and bye, see you in the next video.